Vietnam, I think the first few days, you're just waiting to get shot. I don't, I don't know how the Marines feel that way, but I was just waiting. And, th and then, of course, you adapt. You have to adapt because you can't function you know, being afraid. You have to act. His reputation was that he never ducked, he never crawled. Canley, he may not ever have even fully understood this himself, but Canley was a fatalist. Is, I suppose, he certainly was then. And he clearly did believe that if today was your day, there wasn't nothing you could do about it. During firefights, when we'd be all hugging Mother Earth, he'd be standing up directing us. The result of that is he appeared to be fearless because he was fearless. And we all considered him totally, completely, and absolutely without fear. He stood up in the middle of firefights. I don't know what else to say, but that, that's, and I know that might sound unrealistic to, to people listening, but you'll hear that from every Alpha Company Marine. He gave them a chance. If they didn't get him in that first 30 seconds, then he said to himself, I don't have to worry about it today. You know, Gunny Canley uh, was quiet. And unlike, you know, most Marine NCOs and Gunnies, he spoke very softly. But the one thing I got from him, and I didn't have much contact with him until Way City and then after, was he loved his enlisted Marines. And he, he never scolded us, he instructed us. But you could feel the love. You really could. I know that's a, maybe a tough word, you know, in combat Marines, but you, you could feel the love. And you know, I would screw up something and it was never a chewing out, it was just, this is the way we do it. So you wanted to do it right for him after that. He is individually and uniquely responsible for saving, saving and or protecting the lives of a lot of good young Marines, good young Marines of that day, old gray haired turds today. <laughs> uh, and all of us, all of us, the, the lieutenant included, literally worship the ground that he walks on. He's a special human being, a very, very special human being. Never takes any credit, never wanted any credit, just wanted to take care of his Marines. My Marines, because they believed in me, they, they, they would follow me to death. And, and I had no doubt about that. The company commander was seriously wounded and had to be evacuated. A company gunny, Gunny Canley, took over the company. 